Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know what's next. You know the spiel. If you haven't done so yet, hit the like, subscribe, share button on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Navtronics to stay up to date and in the know with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends. All right, so as promised, this week we're going to be talking about Raymarine's Yacht Sense switching. We have a Bat Cove 340 build in progress. If you've already been following us on our social media and on YouTube, you've already seen little snippets behind the scene of what we have going on with this. So, Today, we're gonna to give you just guys a, a real overview of it. And then once this is all done, we'll give you a full walkthrough video of how this all is integrated into the boat. So what do we have here? We have basically a stackable module modular system from Raymarine for their yacht sense. This is going to be Raymarine's version of digital switching. You're always, no matter what you're doing one of these systems, you're always going to have a master. You're always going to have an end cap. And then kind of in between here, we can splice this up depending on how many of these modules we need to stack or how many loads we have or different areas in the boat. If it's a bigger boat, we can do remote modules as well. So what does this all mean? Well, we've got the master display here, and this is all going to be labeled as to what's everything that's going on there. And it's going to allow us to also see what's going on instead of, you know, if you had the display and maybe your display doesn't work, you can come in here, turn your devices on and off, and also understand what's going on with the health of your system. Also, with each of these modules, we have a signal module, we have a low power module, and we have a high power module. Now, high power, that's going to be your bigger amp draws, low power, obviously lower amp draws, signal, that's going to be your senders and things like that. So we have the ability to monitor all of these things. And on each one of these, so like on our low power side here, they also have the redundancy. If we take off this flap, you'll see a bunch of uh, micro fuses in here. So if something goes wrong for whatever reason, you can't turn this on and you still want to manually override and have that redundancy, you can simply take the micro fuse out, jump it down one hole, and now that system is now active, but still fused with proper uh, AB, ABYC and NEMA fuse protection on there. So we've got multiple redundancies in there. And the nice thing again, like I said, is this is a stackable system on here. You know, so we're gonna go over the stackable and what does that all mean and how does that all work and why you wanna start with, you know, high loads to low loads to signals as you're building these things. But that's kind of the overview. This is going to be our power feed right here. We're gonna look on this. We've got a positive and a negative. We also have spare fuses in here. Again, possibly blew a fuse. You've got your spare fuses in here as well. So you can stack all of these systems together here. Very clean, very easy. Deutsch plugs on this. So as we wanna take these out to wire them up, we've got our Deutsch plug. You lock all of these together and uh, get that in there. There you go, there's one module set up. And then if you had a remote module in another place, maybe a high capacity, you're lifting a hatch or something, you just want a single remote or one or two remotes, you can set this up, there you go. It's just that quick, that easy to stack these up. Like I said, we have Deutsch plug connectors on here, or Molex uh, you know, style plugs that can come in and out of there. And this is all going to integrate into the Raymarine world of things. That also goes to the Yacht Sense link that we talked about a few weeks ago all of these are all going to integrate together to give you a connected boat and have that connectivity there. So we're going to have a lot more on this whole build coming up with this back cove. And uh, we think it's really something really cool, really unique and really special going on with this build. So like I said, you guys know the spiel. Give us a like, follow, subscribe, share at Navtronics on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to stay up to date and in the know with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends. Um, stay tuned. Next week, I think we got some stuff coming up from Airmar. Um, and uh, yeah, like that we got going on there. So, till then, see you guys out there. <laughs>